Hi, my good lamb friend. Today, two young wrestlers, Spenko and Prague, played against each other in Tata Steel tournament, and the game was fascinating for me since these are both of them very young, but they played in super grandmaster level peace maneuvers. And I want to talk about such beautiful peace maneuvers that you don't see too often. Uh, like you, you see uh, shuffling too often, but these are amazing. So I don't discuss opening too much. I jump forward. This is Nimzo Indian. Black gives of a bishop pair in seat gains advantage in pawn structure. On the other hand, white has a bishop pair. So both of them are happy. And as you can see, engine also says that both sides are okay. So we arrive to a position. Okay, uh, I have to stop at this moment. At this position, everything is okay. And then Esivango plays g6. And the evaluation doesn't change much, right? But from human point of view and from uh, a beautiful find of Prague here. Prague understands that h4 on d8 diagonal is very weak. And it's a way that he can move. It's a diagonal that he should put his bishop there. This is why he starts to man maneuver the bishop and put it there. And on the other hand, brings the knight to defend the c4 pawn. Everything is exactly in time. And Svengo centralized the rooks, and, um, and finally bishop is on h4. And Svengo attacks the pawn. Prague sacrifices the pawn. You may say that, okay, this a pawn of black is a passed pawn, outside passed pawn, but actually it's a weakness of black because it's a way that white can penetrate in the black camp. So, Perak don't can uh, don't take uh, it serious and go forward and with the knight and finally they exchange a piece of rooks and here is a critical moment that is where Panko make blunder and it's a little bit deep and I want to explain why such a blunder happened. So at this moment, the Spanko defends the knight with the queen, and you can see Perak can move the queen somewhere and then give a check at f6 and. Uh, win a exchange and this happens actually after mm, such maneuver he wins exchange uh, i mean this is what happens but but what why he made such a blunder he mm, allowed prague intentionally to mm, win exchange because at this position Svengo had to play knight uh, knight c7 and you may say that, okay, nah, it's uh, looking very dangerous, rook comes in, but you can simply defend it. And yeah, that's a defense that you could make, but with the queen there, you don't have such a defense. And, and why, why is Bengo, of course, is Bengo can see this, right? Is Bengo can see this. Why he didn't go for it? Let me go forward and uh, show you some other lines. So we go forward and Prague plays Queen G3. Remember this, we want to play differently a little bit later. And this is an exchange. But if instead of Queen G3, Prague was playing Queen F2, okay, we had a different line. Bishop had to take this knight because it's a check next move. And uh, just let me say that you one more thing before I go forward to the other line. At this position, best move for Svengo was just simply to take this bishop and then after takes back, go back with the knight. Here again, rook comes in, but this is not a dangerous move because you go back. Again, you may say that why Svengo didn't do that, right? He had one more time, he had a chance to uh, prevent the uh, exchange. Why he give up an exchange? So let's see why he did that and it's a very complicated position so uh, prepare yourself not so complicated but it's a complicated fairly complicated so what happened in this position was that if Prague was playing queen f2 and this time Sipango taking that uh, knight it wasn't good anymore because rook comes in you may say that uh, simply Prague plays uh, plays uh, similar moves as before the difference is that queen comes in queen comes in and this knight cannot take that pawn because then uh, you lose it immediately you cannot move the knight because it's a mate out there 
so you lose the piece so you should go back with the knight but if you go back doesn't help because it takes your h7 pawn and you will lose one of the pawns and what i believe what was in the spanko's back um, back of mind of spanko was that uh, queen f2 or queen g uh, sorry queen f2 or queen g3 doesn't change the strategy of the game and finally queen of white reached the a7 spot and he is in a very bad shape at that moment but he was wrong apparently and there is no good way to do it even though after this exchange sec oh sorry after this exchange sec we will see that finally parag managed to bring the queen to exactly the same weak spot that Svenko couldn't defend and Svenko even though he didn't like it but he forced to exchange queens and here we arrive to a position that okay then what how you can penetrate in black's camp yes you are up exchange then show me show me what you can do and here is the masterpiece of Rock. Rock first mm, uh, moves the pieces back and forth and thinks what to do during Svenko's time and finally he finds the way to maneuver pieces correctly this is the critical move bishop goes to a4 and what's the point of this if you take this pawn what's the uh, weakest spot of black yes the g6 pawn is very weak and uh, it's the base of pawn structure and uh, pawn chain and then if you lose it you lose all pawns but it's not important even because the g pawn of white will be advanced past pawn so Zivango couldn't afford to take that pawn, so he moved the knight, but then Prague waits, like a master, he waits. Says that make a next move, my friend. And Zivango uh, cannot move the bishop for the same reason as before, moves the knight back. You may say that why didn't play the king? This is another part of this master level a strategical play, because then rook comes to the open file, and here is where the rook is important. You may say that we stop the rook by going the knight back, but doesn't help because bishop offers uh, exchange, and then after exchange of bishop, rook is in the uh, black's territory, and it's the end of the game, wins all the pawns from the behind. So at this position, Svengo didn't move the king, he just moved the knight back, says, okay, show me what you have, but then for Prague, it wasn't very difficult to show what he has, he waited. See, he waited one more move, and then Spanko forced to move the uh, bishop. Notice that you cannot move the knight again because this time is a check and winning the rook. So Spanko moved the bishop and Prague penetrate in, and then Spanko resigned at this position because he loses the base of his pawn chain and has nothing to play. Yes, they are very good. This young generation, they play very good and. I love to see more games of them. What about you? Do you like their games? Uh, Prague started very bad, lost many games, but at the end uh, showed his brilliancy and played amazing. Hope to see you more of such beautiful games and hope to uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.